guys hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's me again Jessie Couch and today's video guys I will be talking about how to pass um, how to pass and what are the strategies to pass NCLEX R in examinations based on my experience guys and that is why I'm holding this book this comprehensive books NCLEX RN so these are the materials that I've been using guys this one the comprehensive and this one is the answer book you have to answer questions these are all our questionnaires just to evaluate your knowledge and you have to have these guys these are the index card so i will discuss it later and have this some of my materials guys i left in the philippines because uh, it's just too heavy to carry and uh to tell you guys i took my nclex exam when i was in the philippines and when I came here, I already passed the exam, but I decided to, you know, because I decided to um, have some books because I wanted to read more, even though I already passed the exam, because I believe that there's always a continuing education. So I might go back to work next year when my baby is a little bit older already. Um, so I decided to have some um, reviews still um, evaluating because I know that in medical, uh, it's always updating. I want to be updated. So that's the reason I'm still reading here. So in any event, um, NCLEX R in examination is very difficult, guys. Very difficult. It's, it's, um, it's different from the, from the local board that we have. Uh, it's more on testing our knowledge. So it's very tough. It's a very tricky question. So the test is maximum of um, 265 items and minimum of 75 questions. So if you get lucky, the, the computer will stop at any point during the test. On my experience, guys, the computer stopped at um, minimum numbers of 75 and I was nervous a little bit. I don't know if I passed or failed, but luckily I passed the exam, guys, on the 75 questions. So as you're going to take the test guys um like if your example um you get the correct answers the computer will try to give you more difficult questions uh it's like an algorithm something like that guys and they will try to give you more difficult to test if you really comp understand what you're doing based on the knowledge so it's kind of tricky guys so the tips guys when you take the nplex are in examination um, first guys is based this is just based on my experience guys uh, you better have a plan of studying you know you have to plan on your studying you have to take rest you don't have to study like seven days in a week because your brain will get tired you have to rest like for me um, I usually study Monday to Friday before and I spend like three to four hours per day just to have to set my goals because without goals in this exam it's impossible for you to pass the NCLEX RN examination questions are very tricky and are, the answers are very close to each other so so the bottom line on this is um, NCLEX RN examination is testing your knowledge based on the whole year uh, course like when you're you were still on college so this test means that it's like book based so if you are really like working as a nurse in the hospital you have to forget the clinical skills a little bit guys because the we, we all know that um, book based is really different from the clinical setting so we have to relax and focus on the book and of course guys when you're taking the NCLEX RN exam please don't overthink you just focus on the question direct to the point what is being asked because if you keep on thinking and thinking and thinking so many things guys you ended up picking up the wrong answer number two tips guys is that uh, you should have a study plan like for this day you have to have like um for the I mean for this week you have to study about child care so on that day guys you have to jot down everything that relating to that and then um you have to minimize or minimize your time uh, maximize your times guy so you have to um write down the important words and then the things that you're not familiar like like it's new to you you have to write it back so what i did before guys i always have my what is this index card and i still bring it here as you can see guys i'm writing when i was studying about mental health i'm writing everything here so i will not forget and i always have my highlighter and i highlight that so 
I, I so it's easy for me to remember guys so we have to rewrite everything don't just read we have to understand rewrite everything that is new to you so it's easy for you to remember so what you do guys is um you have to think about the knowledge that you gain from your college days and 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 relate that on the practical exams so it's easy for you to it's easy for you to end sorry guys i have to adjust my light it's just so dark so bright it's hurting my eyes a little bit I have to adjust guys okay so when you answer the questions guys because the questions are really really tricky you have to avoid some of the answers like all of the above none because those questions are usually wrong usually wrong and wrong so you do not pick that you have to like um you have to erase like like the things that you you are sure that it's wrong you have to mark it wrong 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 so you're picking the right answers guys and just don't be panic just relax and sit back and think and think and think most of the question of NCLEX RN exams are um select all that apply other applies and like if you have a multiple choice you have to choose the best answers because it's like an umbrella questions all are correct but you have to choose the one that is right and when you answer the NCLEX RN exam guys you have to think first the patient's safety and always use the ABC which means airway breathing and circulation so when you're going to answer you have to prioritize that airway 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 that is the best answers guys whenever you're saying when you can see airway there's a question uh, answer that is uh, referring to airway airway breathing and circulation guys that's the answer absolute answer that you're gonna pick and some of the questions that I experienced, guys, is more on IVF computer compute, compute, Oh, it's all FF now. I'm sorry. So most of the questions, guys, is like relating to um, hospital base, uh, like IVF com computation, guys. So you're going to compute, and in that screen in your computer, guys, um, you can also use like a calculator, guys. So you can compute there, but you have to hurry up because there's a time limit. You have to make sure you answer the questions because you do not know if at 75 your computer will shut down or it will continue so you better have to answer the question like directly or faster and lastly guys when you take the NCLEX exam um, don't be overconfident that you know everything around you know everything you have to think guys that sometimes when you when you're thinking that you know everything absolutely that answer that you're picking is the wrong one so just relax and focus on the question what is being asked don't panic guys and don't cram when you take NCLEX or an exam just don't cram and then don't study like um okay tomorrow is my exam so i have to I, I will not sleep tonight and i will be doing the studying the whole night before going to the test center no guys that's absolutely absolutely wrong you have to have a relaxation guys because it's really normal that we will be panicking because of course this is a big event in our life we will get nervous and then we ended up cramming and forgetting everything that we've learned so just relax because when you're confident that you study very well you don't have to panic guys because you absolutely know the questions and the answer so my tips guys is i, I really recommend saunders book because um it's very comprehensive and all the you know all the things that we should be learning is all here already and i only use this um this one guys it's like you have to have um mnemonics guys so it's easy for you to remember and understand like memorization guys it's very easy when when you're doing it mnemonics and you're writing it but i highly recommend this um this one nclex rn this is my sixth edition already but when i took the nclex rn guys exam i used the fifth edition I'm just buying this now because I wanted to be updated. Oh, it fell down. I wanted to be updated, guys. I wanted to be updated. So when I go back to work again, uh, maybe next year or whatever, it depends on the situation. I I, I have a knowledge because it, it's really different, guys, when, when you did not really have to have a book base because it's based on that. And I really recommend this, guys comprehensive it's everything is here all you have to do is read and read and my my advice guys before taking the exam is um you have to study seriously at least three months what i did guys even if i had a review in kaplan 
Kaplan and Kaplan and Cebu City. Uh, anywhere in Kaplan, guys, or any review center, what I did, guys, was um, I really went home and I decided to have my own room and study there every every day and setting goals and objectives and writing everything, guys, because um, if you're not serious, guys, you're just reading without understanding, it's all useless, guys. So before taking the exam, again, I will repeat, you have to have a time frame of three months of straight studying. You have to write down, jot down the important words, have some index card because it's very helpful when you're writing it. It's more, um, it's more uh, like you can remember, most, more likely you can remember the things that you were studying when you're writing it. And sometimes, guys, I use a flashcard and I, I have a, like a wallpaper. I pasted it on the wall so like the normal values it's there so it's easy for me to look at whenever I forget sometimes so I hope guys you've learned something on my tips and how to pass the NCLEX RN examination because I know guys whoever nurses there who wanting to work here we have to pass this examination our RN exam in the Philippines is not enough we have to have this license here on my license guys I took it um, state of California so it's it has a great advantage because um, what I will do, what I did was just to file a reciprocity with, which doesn't cost much for my state here in Indiana. And same thing with the CGFNS exam, guys. So I got lucky that I choose the California examination. So I'll just pay uh, less than 100 bucks. So it's easy, guys. And, and I hope you learned something, guys. And just don't be panicked. Just relax and pray that everything you study, you studied will come out in the examination just no panicking trust yourself that you study good and bum you will really really make it on the day of your examination so to those people or nurses there who are trying to take the NCLEX RN examination I know guys it's not easy it was a very very tough even for me and I was just lucky that my computer shut down until 20, 75 items and I luckily passed the exam so I know you can make it too guys if I can do it you can do it too so good luck guys and thank you so much for listening and watching my video and if if your first time on my channel guy guys please hit the like button and subscribe see you guys bye